Hi, my name is Karen. And I'm Talia. And on a hot summer day, everyone loves a cool glass of lemonade. So that's why today we're going to be making some very special lemonades. Now our special lemonades are composed of three liquid ingredients. And to measure them, we use a unit called a tablespoon. So each recipe actually has one cup worth of liquid in it. And there are 16 tablespoons in a cup. So that's why our measurements are in tablespoons, but the whole thing will actually equal one cup. Now our first ingredient is very rare and unique. And it can be found at any kitchen sink. It's called water. And to make things easier, we've pre-measured it into these cups. Our second ingredient is fresh squeezed lemon juice. Now you can juice a lemon with something that looks like this and you just press it down and you've got lemon juice. The last ingredient is sugar water. Yeah, it's sugar water because to make everything simple, we decided to do everything in liquids. So to make sugar water, you just add sugar to a cup of lukewarm water, stir it around, and you've got sugar water. You wanna keep adding and stirring until you sugar starts to kinda collect at the bottom. That's called the saturation point, and once you've reached that, you don't want to put any more sugar in. And we're not going to add ice today because it could throw off the ratios. But at home, sure you can do it. So the first recipe is regular lemonade. Now, regular lemonade has 10 tablespoons of water, 2 tablespoons of lemon juice, and 4 tablespoons of sugar water. I have my pre-measured 10 tablespoons of water here. I'm adding my two tablespoons of lemon juice and my four tablespoons of sugar water. And stir it all around. And we've got regular lemonade. And by the way, later today we're going to have a random man on the street come in and taste the lemonade. Okay, so the next lemonade is lemonade A. Lemonade A has 14 tablespoons of water, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and one tablespoon of sugar water. Here are the 14 tablespoons of water, so I'm adding one tablespoon of lemon juice and one tablespoon of sugar water, giving it a little stir. Really watery. Yeah, this is going to be a really diluted lemonade, so it won't really have much flavor. Now the next lem lemonade is lemonade B. Now this one is going to be super sour. Super sour. I mean like super duper sour. Like it's going to make your mouth all pucker up. Our first ingredient is nine tablespoons of water. Our second ingredient is five tablespoons of lemon juice. And our third ingredient is two tablespoons of sugar water. So here I have my nine tablespoons of water pre-measured for me. My five tablespoons of lemon juice. Super sour. And my two tablespoons of sugar water. And mix it all up and now you have some very sour lemonade. Wow, you can really see the difference in that one. It looks a lot more yellow than this one, which was like really diluted. Anyway, our last lemonade is Lemonade C. It's got three tablespoons of water, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and 12 tablespoons of sugar water. That's right, 12. 12? 12, I'm serious. Wow. So anyway, here's the three tablespoons of water. I'm gonna add my one little baby tablespoon of lemon juice. And then 12 tablespoons of sugar water. I gotta be careful because this thing is really, really, really full. Now it's time for our tester to come in. Michael, R that's your cue. As we said, random man off the street. Sorry, sorry. That's okay, Michael. Welcome to the kitchen, my friend. So now we have special lemonade for you to taste. Our first lemonade is the regular lemonade. Here you go, and Just take, take a sip. How does it taste? Sweet. Good. Awesome. So we're going to share with you our recipe for the regular lemonade. And on the other recipes, you're going to have to guess the ingredients and match them with the measurements. So our recipe for a regular lemonade is 2 tablespoons lemon juice, 10 tablespoons regular water, and four tablespoons sugar water. That recipe adds up to 16 tablespoons. Indeed it does. So the next lemonade you're gonna be tasting is lemonade A. Go ahead and try it. 
it's really sour. This, yeah. Now you're gonna match up the ingredients for what you think is lemonade A. Okay, so here's the lemon. Which amount do you think the lemon juice had? Was it one tablespoon, one tablespoon, or 14 tablespoons? 14 tablespoons. All right. And the water? Regular water. I guess it doesn't really matter because they're both one tablespoon. So you can just put it on either one of those. And all right. The results for that, actually, you got it wrong. Water, it was very watery lemonade. I guess you were just tasting the lemon. But it was mostly water. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Good try, though. You did get the sugar water correct. Yep. Okay, so the next lemonade you're going to be tasting is lemonade B. It's really, really sour. Are you sure? Yes. All right. Well, let's see if you can match the amount. How much lemon do you think was in this one? Um, say five tablespoons. And water? Probably about nine tablespoons. And the sugar water? Two tablespoons. That is very correct. Nice job, Sam. Very and good. the last but not least lemonade you're going to be tasting is... Lemonade C. It's really sugary. So, now let's match up the ingredients to lemonade C. How much sugar water do you think is in that? Um... 12 tablespoons. You did say it was really sugary. Okay, how much water? Three tablespoons. And lemon? One tablespoon. Nice job. Correct again. Two out of three is really good. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy making your fun summer lemonades. Uh, time? Mm -hmm. You've got something under your nose. You do too, actually, come to think of it. It's really sour. The reason he thought that was because if you look at the ratios for the regular lemonade, the ratio is the sugar water is twice as much as the lemon juice. But in lemonade A, it was different because the amount of sugar water was the same as the amount of lemon juice. So it tasted slightly sour along with being diluted. Since there is a one-to-one -one ratio of sugar water to lemon juice instead of a two-to-one, the sugar water, um, there wasn't enough of it, so the lemon juice just canceled it out. You may want to think about how the other lemonade's ratios affected the way that they tasted. Thanks for watching!